Welcome to the Think and Grow Well Show. If you allow your doctor, your insurance, or your Uncle Sam to define healthy, or you blame someone else for the way you feel, or you seek the fountain of youth in a prescription bottle, at a needle tip, or along the scalpel's edge, then be advised, you are about to be offended. You should probably leave now. Anybody can just think and feel better? That's scary. I mean, thoughts aren't regulated by the feds, and no drug company has a patent on them. So thinking thoughts must not be very safe or effective. If you love feeling frisky and having fun, take responsibility for your own vitality and want freedom to enjoy epic experiences with folks you love, welcome aboard and prepare to be blown away. The Think and Grow Well Show starts now. Here's your host, Dr. Lori Barr. Hey, it's Dr. Lori Barr here. This is Think and Grow Well. And today I just want to touch on a little bit more about the imagination and one of the universal laws, and it's really the universal law of creation. So when you feel like you're powerless to change your situation or to create anything physical, let me just refresh your mind about this universal law. You know, a lot of people think that the imagination is just a place where we waste time. And and you know, if you've listened to me before, that that is not my belief at all. I consider that every physical object in this world first existed in the imagination of someone and that there was an orderly process that brought it from the spiritual plane, which an idea is not physical, it's, it's in the spiritual plane, to manifest in the physical plane. So what is that process? The first step is having the idea. The second step is getting excited about that idea. The third step, after you've got some emotion attached to it, is figuring out an orderly process for creating something physical from the idea. The fourth step is application of enough energy to turn the spiritual idea into a physical thing. So in case this seems too nebulous, let's look at an example of how this works. You're sitting at your desk and you're thinking about vacation. And you're thinking about how nice it would be to go on a vacation this spring to someplace beautiful and amazing. Maybe it's a beach front. And you think about this idea and you think about this idea and you get excited about this idea. And you start thinking about the people you'd like to be with on this trip. Well, the next thing you know, maybe you're having conversations about this potential trip with those people you'd like to spend the time with. And maybe you're comparing calendars and seeing if your times can align for a time to go on this trip. And maybe, just maybe, you're keeping an eye out for special airfares and special accommodation prices so that the trip will fit right in your budget. And lo and behold, the process of thinking about the vacation and the vacation actually happening unfolds. The next thing you know, you've got some tickets reserved, you've got some rooms reserved, and after that, the next thing you know, you're actually there enjoying yourself. We've just demonstrated how the universal law works. It works in every aspect of your life. It's the universal law of creation. It's not the only universal law. There are other universal laws as well. When you work in harmony with the universal laws, things naturally fall into place almost as if by magic. And it's because you're following the natural laws, laws that cannot be broken. It's how the world works. What I'd like for you to do now is to really think about the fact that all the great achievers throughout the ages recognized this one important concept about how to transmute a spiritual idea into a physical piece of matter or an experience. And they use that to achieve their life's work. If you're not taking advantage of this, I just challenge you to try it for a month. Your next steps. Try the process. 
And that is your next step. Write down the steps of this process. First, you have an idea. You back it by faith and by desire. You make an orderly plan and you apply enough energy that it has to become a physical thing in the world. Write out that plan and start applying it to different areas in your life just for one month. Anytime an idea comes to mind, just run it through that process if you want it to become something real. And let's see how you do. Let's see what comes up as if by magic. When something does appear, I want you to come to drlorybar.com, D-R-L-O-R-I-B-A-R-R.com, and leave me a message telling me what it was, and maybe we'll feature you on the show. I'm Dr. Lori Barr. This is Think and Grow Well. One idea is all it takes to change your world. Psst, beware. Vitality is an inside job. Trust your spirit, make up your mind, and get your body in gear. There are no second chances. 